This is Brian Putt. Today I want to talk about using Excel to flip conditional probability trees. Sometimes people will have a tree where they have the probabilities of reality and then they've assessed the probabilities of an indicator reflecting a reality. And they need to flip that tree using Bayes' theorem. Most of the literature that I looked at was very mathematical in their approach and it was a little bit difficult to understand or perhaps even to apply. So I want to try to simplify this and we're going to be using SIPMath in an example model. But first, let's go through an example of a 2x2 two two matrix to make sure we understand what it is. We'll demonstrate the process. So there's a problem called the taxi cab problem where a taxi cab has hit a pedestrian and a witness saw the accident and there are only white and yellow cabs in the city. There are 85 of the cabs are yellow, which implies that 15% of the cabs are white. When the police tested the witness, they could only correctly identify a yellow or a white cab correctly 80% of the time. So it's a symmetrical reliability. So the question we're trying to answer is, what are the probabilities on the flipped Bayesian tree? And if the witness says it was a yellow cab, that caused the accident, what is the probability that they are right? So let's start <clears throat> with the basic tree. And we have the, the guilty party could either be a white cab or a yellow cab with probabilities of 15 or 85 percent. And the witness would be 80 percent correct. So if it was a white cab, it would be, he'd be correct 80% of the time. If it was a yellow cab, he'd be correct 80% of the time. So now, let's calculate the joint probabilities. The joint probabilities are multiplying these probabilities together. So the first one is 15% times 80 gives 12. The second is 15 times 20 gives 3%. And then the last two are calculated in a similar manner. So now what happens when we flip this tree? So here is our flip tree and it talks about what the witness said and then what the reality is. Indicator reality. This tree shows the actual probabilities of 29 percent, 41, 59, but what we want to understand is where they came from. So let's start by calculating the joint probabilities. Well this joint probability has to be the same as on the upper tree. So white, white, guilty party is white, witness says white is 12%. In the second branch, the witness says white, but the reality is yellow. Here's yellow, white is 17%. Similarly, we get 3% for the yellow white and 68% for the yellow yellow yellow, yellow, 68 percent. So now what can we say? The probability of the witness saying white is the probability of these two numbers. These have to add back to here. So 12 plus 17. Similarly, on the bottom branch, it's 3 plus 68. Having those numbers, we can then back calculate these other two branches. So we know that this branch here times this branch is equal to 12. So that means that this branch must be 12 divided by the 29. And similarly for the other three branches. So how do we flip our larger tree using Excel? Even those that may be not symmetrical or asymmetrical. Well, we're going to use SIPMath to simulate the results and then count the occurrences and then calculate the probabilities based on those occurrences. Let's see how this goes in practice using the following 3 by 3 matrix. We're going to assume that there's three outcomes for reality and each of those realities have a 60, 50, and 25 percent probability. And if, if it's reality A, I might get an indication of A of 70 percent, an indication of B of 15, indication of C of 5, and then there's a 10% chance the person says, I don't know. I just don't know. 
So the sum of these indications, given that I have reality A, has to equal 100%. Similarly for reality B and reality C. Let's stop there, and in the next video, we'll use SIP math to invert this conditional probability matrix.